Greetings friends, I am Supersonic Advance, and today we will be reviewing the Sonic Movie 2 2.5 inch figure pack. I recently found this at Target, really happy to review it, and it also has new packaging with the running Movie Sonic, the Movie Figure Collection in multiple languages, Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Robotnik, and Buzz Bomber, this, sorry you can't really see it. The Sonic Movie 2 logo, a, a, a bubble that says articulated and for three and up. On the side, there's Sonic. Don't really feel like fixing my background. Inside, it shows all the figures. And on this side, it also shows uh, the Sonic and the logo. Now, without further ado, let us begin. So before we get into the figures, it has this nice electric background that I'm going to use because, well, I think it looks good and it suits the figures. So yeah, I'm gonna use this. First up, we have Sonic, and wow, he, they surprisingly did really good for, just they nailed it in my opinion. Cause it's like, wow, there is like, and okay. Why is there a seven spike? Okay, never mind. But yeah, they nailed it in my opinion. There's, except for the seven spike, but wow. They did great. He has a point of articulation right here, point of articulation on his other arm, and, and his legs. A very nice figure. And I really like the head that they chose. And again, I'm not sure why they went with the seven spike. I don't think this was in the movie. I watched the movie like five times or four, the first one. I don't think this was here. But again, I, I might be wrong, but eh, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm gonna put Sonic right here. Now we have Best Friend and Tails. And now he doesn't really look how he does look in the trailer. I think this is based off of like the end credits in the first movie because like you can tell a little bit that like like if you look at his eyes he, he does look a lot of how he does in the first movie. It's also made of a really nice like high quality plastic. Like I'm not sure if you guys can really tell but they feel really nice. Kind of like actual f I wouldn't say actual fur, but they do feel really nice. He has the same articulation as Sonic, and just like the 2.5 inch tails, he does have the iconic asshole. So you can oh, put it in me, daddy. Just like that. So yeah, he does, just in case, yeah. So that is tails, he does proportion well to Sonic, which is a good thing. So yeah, next up we have Knuckles. What the hell is with his face? I'm sorry, just, eh? I don't really like the face he is making. Just, eh, it just could be me in my opinion, but do I think I need your power? Just, eh. He does have the same articulation as Sonic. I do like how, he did, how they did his shoes. And they do have holes, so that way they could connect to the Green Hill playset and Studioopolis playset as well. I forgot to mention that when it comes to these figures. And yeah, now if we put them up together next to Sonic and Tails, we do see that, yes, that they are proportionate to one another, just like the movie, which is a good thing. Next up, we have... Dr. Robotnik. I bet they're going to be calling him Eggman in the second movie. Same articulation as normal, and they surprisingly did a really good job with getting a realistic human character into a 2.5 inch scale, which I find surprising. He also has slight head articulation, and, act and he also has the same articulation. The paint is beautiful, the sculpt is great, I like the feet that they gave on him. 
And yeah, this is a great figure as well. So yeah, I don't really have much to say on him because he has the same articulation as all the rest. And he also is proportionate to Sonic a little bit. Because like Sonic was like a little bit shorter, I guess. But I, they had to, I, but I think they had to keep it like two inches. But yeah, Dr. Robotnik isn't proportionate to Sonic, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. And the exclusive figure, okay, well not exclusive, is the Buzz Bomber from, huh, wait, what's this? Oh, it comes with the number three. That's weird. Is the Buzz Bomber for how they looked in the Sonic movie trailer, as an example. So yeah, this is a really nice figure. And I, uh, obviously they gave him like a little stand. He doesn't, he only has articulation right here, I believe. None right here? Wait. Hold on. Okay, a slight head articulation, I believe. Yeah, it's kind of lacking in terms of movement and articulation, but still a really cool figure to display in your like Sonic movie collection. So I, 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 I would definitely would recommend well getting him because he is he is actually a cool figure to put on display. And yeah, these are the Son 2.5 inch Sonic movie figures. Honestly, these are really good for 20 bucks in my opinion. I would actually re recommend these guys, honestly. Because they're really good, except for Knuckles' face, I don't like it. But yeah, definitely buy these while you, while you can because I probably when the movie is out, I don't think these figures will be around. But yeah. These are really good 2.5 inch figures and I would definitely would recommend getting them. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Heaven, please sing for me a song of